And hello and welcome to another one of my vlogs. Today I'm broadcasting from my apartment in Moscow, Russia. Uh, this apartment was built in the Soviet times and that's why it looks kind of Soviet uh, behind me. But anyway, this is one that I wanted to talk about which is a little bit strange to me. Have you noticed how literally like every single relatively successful YouTube personality moves to Los Angeles? Why? Why would you do that? Like, I, 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 I've never understood that fact. First of all, um, if you're looking for content, you don't have to be in Los Angeles. There's plenty of vloggers in Ohio, in Arizona, in... You can be anywhere. But they moved to LA, which is like the dumbest thing ever. Because if you're trying to live on a YouTube income, and rest assured, most YouTubers don't make that much money. I mean, you're lucky if you can make, you know, income you can live in on YouTube. Why would you want to be in LA, which is an insanely expensive place? Insanely expensive place. Like, even doctors, lawyers, business people, and rich people have trouble affording living in L.A. And you want to go and make a living in L.A. on a YouTube income? I mean, that is like the dumbest thing ever. And yet so many people are doing it. Furthermore, L.A. is not like a healthy place. It's not the place you want to be. Like, for example, if we look at Vitaly ZDTV, right? Like the Vitaly Russian guy. I mean, he's, he used to live in Florida and he moved to LA like a long time ago. His videos got considerably worse ever since he got to LA. He just, it's that he doesn't notice it. A lot of people don't notice it, but I do notice it. And LA is a really shitty place to be. Really shitty place to be. And it shows to me that whenever a person, even a successful person, like I... There's a vlogger called David Dobrik or something like that. I've never even watched him, but I ran across a video of him showing his like $2.5 million house in Los Angeles. Okay. Why? Why? I mean, for like, like, why live in the show? Like, like, I would pay money not to live in Los Angeles. That is how bad it is there. Like, I can't imagine why someone rich would move to Los Angeles. Because there's so many risks to losing your money. Like, you can lose your house. Some girl can sue you for touching her butt. That That's, I, I think, the guy's from, like, Slovakia. But the one guy that's smart is PewDiePie. PewDiePie? Doesn't go to late. PewDiePie sits in Sweden, where it's dirt cheap. He probably has an apartment, and he broadcasts from there, showing you that the number one vlogger in the world is God knows in Sweden somewhere. Do vloggers move to Sweden to be famous? But that's where the most famous vlogger is. Like moving to like LA is a complete shithole of gigantic proportions, and yet so many people move there, which perplexes my mind. Like it took all of my energy to get the f out of there. Like, I don't know, comment below if you think, if you know the reason why, other than stupidity, it's just, uh, stupidity is like the only reason why people would move there. I'm having a lot, by the way, Moscow compared to Southern California is off the hook, it's best, like, first of all, it's cheap. And I'm not like a world famous YouTuber. I, I, I have some income. My income goes way further in Moscow. So many things to do. There is public transportation. There is forests. There is lakes. There is friends. There is good food that you can't even buy in America. <laughs> Just blows my mind really why anyone would move there. And LA is like one of the worst places even in America. Even in America, that's the worst place you can think of. It really is. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.